Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to solve this linear system using substitution. Now what it means to solve the linear system is to find the point of intersection between these two lines. So that is the point at which they cross. So that's what we're going to find and we're going to use the method of substitution. So to start, let's label one line uh, line one and the other one line two. So we have two equations that we've labeled one and two. We're going to choose the equation that has the easiest variable to isolate. So when I look at these two equations, equation one is the one I'm going to choose because y only has a coefficient of a negative one. So to me, that's the easiest variable to isolate here in the two equations. So I'm going to start with that one. So here we're going to um, solve for y in equation number one. So we'll start with the first equation, 3x minus y equals 28. To get the y by itself, we know that we're going to move the 3x term to the other side. This is going to leave us with negative y equals negative 3x plus 28. If you don't remember how to solve linear equations, then uh, link over to my video on solving linear equations and you'll learn how to isolate variables like we are doing here um, with a little more time and attention. Now the y is not by itself, it still has that coefficient of negative 1, so I'm going to divide by negative 1 on both sides to get the y by itself and we're left with y equals 3x minus 28. So now we've isolated y and we know that y is equal to 3x minus 28. So wherever I see a y, I can take this equation and I'm going to sub it in. So let's label this equation number three and we're going to plug this in to equation number two for the y here and then we're going to solve for the x. So I'm going to now uh, sub equation three into equation 2 and then I'm going to solve for the x variable that's going to be left there. So equation number 2 is 7x plus 3y equals 60. I'm going to take this y equals 3x minus 28 and I'm going to sub it in for y here because y equals 3x minus 28 that means y is 3x minus 28 and I can sub it in to the equation here. It's going to look like this. 7x plus 3, get your brackets, sub in 3x minus 28. So now you see instead of the y we wrote 3x minus 28 and we still have the equal 60 on the other side of the equation. So now I'm going to solve for x. Now that makes sense, because look at what we have left in this equation. We only have an x variable left. There is no y here, so we must expand, simplify, and solve for x. So I'm going to distribute first, so that I can simplify this side. And we get 7x plus 9x minus 84 equals 60. Now these are like terms, so I can combine these two together, and I'm going to take this minus 84 and bring it to the other side to join with that 60. So on the left hand side I'm left with 16x, and on the right hand side 60 plus 84 gives us 144. To get the x by itself, we know we divide by its coefficient of 16, and I get x equals 9. So here we have one coordinate for our point of intersection. x equals 9. But we know that a point consists of an x and a y variable. So we're going to take this x and we're going to sub it back into equation 3 so that we can get the y, the corresponding y value. So let's just move this up here and we're going to um, sub into equation 3. 
and I get y equals, I had 3x minus 28. I'm going to sub in for x here, the value I found for x here. If x is equal to 9, I know that I can replace x with 9 in this equation. So we get 3 times 9 minus 28. And if you evaluate that, 3 times 9 is 27, minus 28 gives us negative 1. So the y-coordinate of our point is y equals negative 1. So that means for this system here with these two equations, the solution is, or the point of intersection for, this, for these two lines is the point 9, negative 1. Remember, our point always goes x and y, just like x comes before y in the alphabet. So this is the solution to the system. Thank you very much, and thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.